Okay, we're going to be running this engine on a fast XFI box. And that fast FI box will not only control the air fuel mixture, it will control the ignition timing also. We have our MSD Pro Billet distributor. And what we did here to make our lives easier is we sent this thing right to comp cams and they modified the distributor for us. Basically, uh, I, this is kind of a nice deal. They, they labeled exactly what needs to be done on the distributor and how to set it up. It came to us back and they wrote the instructions right on the box. They couldn't make it any simpler for us. If you didn't know how to do all this stuff, it would be a nightmare even when you do know how. It's still kind of a pain, but they, they did all the homework for us. It's kind of a nice deal. What they did was they took the centrifugal advance right out of this and they took the reluctor wheel which had all these this is what normally would fire the spark they had there's there's normally eight of these on there and every time it lines up with the magnet it would fire but we're, we're firing with the crank trigger so what they did is they removed all but one of the reluctors and gave us some nice instructions of how to set this thing up now what they did is they made a little mark right there there's your number one so you want to use that and they say that the rotor is phased at 20 degrees so what we do is we put our crankshaft in the 20 degree before top dead center firing position we make sure that the rotor points to number one and we drop it right in other than that they put the instructions in a nice manner right on the wires where to hook this to on our XFI fast box. They couldn't make it any more simple. I mean, if, if you're hooking up one of these boxes and you're not the, the ultimate expert or you don't have access to a machine shop where you can do all that kind of stuff, just send it to them, pay the money. Boy, this, this couldn't be nicer. Okay, last thing before we put the distributor in the engine, we need to change the gear. The gear that comes on the MSD distributor is a steel gear designed for cast iron flat tappet camshafts. Basically, it's the same as the factory gear. We bought this comp cams nitrided steel gear. This is compatible with the hydraulic roller cam that we're using. You can use either a bronze distributor gear or this new nitrided steel gear and uh, this will have more longevity for street driven applications. When comp cams manufactures these, when, when they manufacture these, they design them for the factory distributors, which are a 490, have a 491 diameter shaft. The MSD distributors have a 500 diameter shaft. So basically we just need to simply ream this to 500 and we can knock the pin out, put the new gear on and we're ready to rock and roll. Piece of cake when you have the right equipment. Steve over here is going to ream that out. It only takes a minute. When putting your new gear on, there's actually a little trick that maybe not some, pe some people don't know. You'll notice that this roll pin or this hole lines up exactly with the tooth on that gear. If you rotate it 180 degrees, you'll notice that the roll pin lines up in the center of the two teeth. You have to make sure that you index this correctly when you put it on. So take notice, when you take it off, put the other gear on exactly the same way. So I'm gonna line this up with the tooth. When I put it back on, same deal. I'll use my punch to keep that lined up. Good to go. Gonna put our O-ring on the distributor that comes with, with it. 
This O-ring doesn't do anything other than prevent oil from reaching the top of the distributor. It has nothing to do with oil control or feeding the lifters like on a Chevrolet. Put a little uh, oil on there. So it doesn't bind when we put it in. I'll put a little break-in lube on the gear. The reason I use the break-in lube in this case is very clingy. If the motor sits for a while, the oil won't drain off of it. And we'll go ahead and put our crankshaft to the firing position at 20 degrees before top dead center. Right now, both valves are closed, so we know we're on the compression stroke. Bring that to 20 degrees. And like it says on the distributor, You simply line up the rotor to this mark. And that's it. They already, they already did all the hard work for you. Lining it up with that mark, we know that the cap will automatically line up. Just take a look real quick. Lock it down with the distributor hold down and we're ready to rock and roll there. Put the cap on. Call this job done. You can either buy a MSD universal kit like this and do all the machine work yourself to make it fit because no one makes a crank trigger kit for an Oldsmobile except for us. We make this crank trigger with all of our own equipment here and uh, it's pretty much a simple bolt on deal. So for this particular build, very easy. We just pull it out of the drawer and put it on. This particular crank trigger kit has multiple holes so that you can use the four hole pattern, Oldsmobile pattern, or if you have an ATI balancer with a three hole Chevrolet pattern, you can use it on that also. It'll, it'll fit basically anything or any harmonic balancer that you might have for your Oldsmobile engine. Next, our pickup mounting pickup bracket. We'll install our Reliable MSD crank trigger pickup. What you want to do is you want to set the gap at about 65 thousandths and then lock your nut down. And all we have to do, the last step, is to put our, our um, MSD pickup right at the magnet. and lock it down and it's ready to fire up. Ready to rock and roll.